guys. Welcome to a new series, episode one on Chief Overviews. This series is going to be focused on going over different aspects of the game in a little bit more detail without me having to run around and play and get distracted by other things. So I'd like to sit here and break down different aspects of the game to help you better understand them. And today's first item on the list is going to be skills so skills are very important in the way you play this game they kind of dictate your style dictate the way you want to expand etc so i'd like to show you guys the way i like to get my skills going and what points i like or what skills i like to improve moving forward so the very first skill that i usually get is under the warrior tab and it's going to be backpack capacity now backpack pa capacity helps me move things along from camp to camp when i don't have a lot of other skills unlocked and i don't have a lot of warriors to do the heavy lifting for me early on you see here it'll increase it by 10 currently we are at 40 so if i were to get it it would go ahead and jump up to 50 the next tier increases your weight by 20 points or 20 pounds so or kilograms whatever it may be it increases it by 20 and then the final tier is by 30. correct me if i'm wrong please leave the comments in the bottom if i am incorrect but that is basically the first thing i like to focus on now for the rest of the warrior tree bow accuracy is helpful especially as you are going to I like to focus on using stun arrows and increasing your bow accuracy helps with that. So stun arrows allow you to not kill your enemy, increase your reputation, get interrogation, or excuse me, you can't get interrogation after you stun them unless you wait around for them to get back up and then you go ahead and um, interrogate them, grab them, interrogate, and then you can intimidate. So. That's very helpful, especially later on in the game. A bear is attacking you, a boar is attacking you, wolves are attacking you. Increased bow accuracy, I like to carry around. I always stay strapped when I'm running around. So bow accuracy is really important. Increased weapon damage is something I like to take in the mid tier, uh, the middle of the game as well. It's a good item. And as well as health regeneration. This item helps me to not carry around as many potions and whatnot as I'm traveling in between camps. I don't have to worry about my health. I know it's going to get back up with health regeneration, at least tier one. Now, the main tree I'd like to focus and start dumping a lot of skill points into is Chief. Now, under Chief, you have Tribal Gathering, Improved Hunting, Improved Gathering, Warrior Weight Increase, Leadership 1, which increases the amount of warriors you get while you liberate certain regions and clean reputation clean reputation i hardly have ever used i've only used it on my first campaign or my excuse me my first resistance and that's because i was all the way red i was just killing everybody and it was definitely a lot a lot more difficult gameplay when you go around just killing everybody not that you can't do it definitely some good options if you want to go that route if you want to go that route i'd highly suggest you get um Sneak, Concentration, uh, Strike increases your da knife damage by 25%, which is actually pretty substantial. This item here is great. So under the Hunter Tree, it could help you go a little bit more Rambo style. Um, this is Concentration is a great ability, um, especially again, tying in with my Stun Arrow strats. And also when you're trying to fight off patrols who are on horseback and a little bit trickier to go ahead and hit also helps in situations where you have a large camp with large amounts of enemy and you're able to slow down knock one guy out go to the next one knock another guy out the only problem is that it uses stamina to go ahead and slow down time now going back to warrior you can increase your stamina if you like to go that route also increase your health in the next patch we're going to get an increased health anyways so this may become a little bit less useful tomahawk is great if you're going to go the rambo style uh again 
not necessarily what I go for. I do take up Tomahawk. Um, I haven't grabbed the spear. It's kind of expensive. I would imagine the range on this bad boy is a lot better than the Tomahawk. So definitely a way to go if you want to just go around and gaining red reputation and taking out every pale face that you see. Now, the ones I like to focus, like I said, are bow accuracy, weapon damage, backpack capacity, and health regeneration. And maybe Tomahawk somewhere down the line. Now, in later game, definitely nice to get your rifle accuracy up. I do like to use the native weapons. I try to keep it as native as I can for my personal use as I'm going around the map. For your warriors, many of them are going to be using rifles and other weapons as you collect pistols as you collect throughout uh, other camps and bring it back to your camps. And I, I equip them with those weapons to go out and attack a lot of the times. Now, under Chief, the reason why I like to focus Chief is because they are expensive even early in the game, but as you progress through your skills and take more skills, the cost of each skill increases. So it slowly starts at first as you increase slowly uh, getting skills in like improved hunting. Not only does that specific skill line increase for the next tier, also the rest of the uh, other skills also increase in the amount of skill points required to unlock them so i like to get these a little bit earlier on as opposed to later and it helps uh with your expansion progression and camps the amount of camps that you have now here is the example the reason why i like to go into improved hunting at least tier one really early on in the game and you can see this in my other web series my other series as i am going to be going through playthrough and walkthrough as i actually play through an entire resistance so improved hunting allows your tribe members to find rare animal parts when hunting so they're going to go out and it allows you to once your camps are at a certain level at least tier two and have the enough men to actually send out to do orders you can order them to pick up more advanced materials those advanced materials are the ones that we need for boar tusk stag pelt and buffalo pelt now the higher tiered camps eventually all go to stag horns uh stag pelt and uh buffalo horn i believe I can't remember off the top of my head, I apologize, but those are all going to be tier, the highest tier, I think it's tier 3 improved hunting. So these skills will get expensive very fast, very early, and I like to just go ahead and dub the skill points into them right away, and that way they can get gathering the things I need to increase the size of my camps. And that plays along with my style that I will also increase leadership get a lot of warriors starting to come to my lands and if i don't in increase my camp size they're going to get stuck they're going to start leaving because they're going to be in overpopulated camps because it's going to take me forever by myself to get the materials needed to upgrade this camp like the boar tusk i need 20 boar tusk 20 stag pelt that also requires me to increase my hunting skill tree under skinning improves your chance to get pelts when skinning animals by up to 33 percent so early on you don't even have a great chance to even get any animal parts that you really need to upgrade your camps so that's why i had go ahead and let my warriors handle this increasing your resources is great this could also be increased uh gathering could also be increased through your war paints so this is definitely an option to go in that route so this route kind of all this skill point tree the way i get it kind of helps me to synergize what i'm looking to do uh, by expanding and focusing on warrior gathering now the last tree that i like to look at is a scouting tree and these has this definitely has some useful items in it improved spyglass well tier one is just the use of spyglass which you can get to by using your e and it'll show up here if you hold e improved spyglass helps with identifying members of enemy camps 
and helping you to more efficiently do your quests. There are some times that quests require you to not kill anybody other than intimidating the leader of a certain camp to get that area to be emptied out once you intimidate that specific leader. And sometimes you don't know which, obviously most of the times you don't know who that guy is and getting improved spyglass, the second tier will allow you to mark and get the names and the rank if it's a camp leader or just a peon in a camp and you can go ahead and base what you do by taking out certain camps using the improved spyglass. Improved intimidation is another thing that I like to get. I like to get it to at least down to two seconds. Um, the next rank right here is, the first rank is nine seconds. Second rank is five seconds. Third rank is two seconds. Last rank is one second. I at least like to get it to two seconds. The reason why is in the mid game, there's going to be bigger camps that you're running into. And if you use stun arrows to knock somebody out or you just grab them and knock them out, their buddies can walk by, bump them, wake up, wake up, and then they'll know exactly where you are as soon as they wake up. They're alerted 100% to your presence and it makes the camps, the situation a lot more dangerous. So if you improved your intimidation, you can loot them and then intimidate them real quick and get them out of there without the enemy being alerted to your presence. For whatever reason, enemies never notice when their buddies are being intimidated and alerted to your presence now detect enemies is another good one to use in my other series you could see me using detect enemies on a couple occasions and it's a good substitute to spyglass when you're already in and among them in the camp so it's not actually too bad to use early on in the game improve grab is another thing you guys could consider right now grabbing an enemy that's already engaged with you is 16% so they need to be lower than 16% health in order for you to grab them once you're already fighting them this increases that health to 30% so you only need to get them down to 30% so you don't accidentally kill somebody that you're not meaning to kill and you can grab them and interrogate them and and then intimidate them as some quests quests may need and lastly reveal territory I think is very useful it allows you to get better line of sight as you walk around the land it gets you a better idea of where enemies are or where animal areas are like bear or wolf or uh, deer fox whatever it may be that you're looking for it just basically gives you a better view better line of sight and i i can't argue with getting more vision vision is always useful helps you make better decisions more informed decisions as you progress throughout the land and so yeah I hope this helps you guys out. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I appreciate it. Enjoy your gaming, guys. Ooh, scary.